What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I'm talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we are looking at the action which is when an event is updated. So this action allows you to trigger a flow based on when an event in your calendar is updated. So let's take a look at that. I'm in Power Automate. I've got my list of connectors here, and I've got this one on the right, which says Office 365 Outlook Connector, or Office, 3, Outlook, Office 365 Outlook, but that's the connector. Um, then on the trigger page, I've got this one down here, which is when an event is modified V3. So the first thing it asks me for is the calendar ID. So this is an ID of your calendar. So um, in your Outlook, you may have multiple calendars. I have two in mine. I have birthdays and I have calendar. I can choose the calendar one down here. This is my default one. You may have more calendars, which you may want to trigger it based on. I can click show advanced options. And this is where I was a little confused by this trigger. Um, so this, unlike the when an event is updated, uh, added or deleted, this doesn't tell me, this doesn't allow me to specify like how long that period is. In instead, what it does is it gives me uh, queries for data. So I can uh, use an OData query to order the results back to me um, in a certain order, um, like you know maybe sorting it by subject or sorting it by earliest. Um, I can do a top count, so I can just retrieve the, the top sort of say 10 events that were modified. Um, and I can also have a skip count, um, so I can actually say, okay, I don't want to count the first 10, but I want to count everything after that, so I'll put 11 in here and I'll skip the first 10 sort of thing. Um, so that, that, that's a little confusing to me, I don't really understand why that is in there, but if you know, let me know in the comments down below. Then I can click on new step. And we'll just add a compose action in to show you this working. So we'll click compose and we'll throw in the subject and we'll throw the start time and we'll throw the end time as well. So there's all three of those. So we'll click on save. Uh, oh, it doesn't like my, uh, doesn't like my connection at the moment. Maybe I just need to re-authenticate. Might explain why I was having some, some issues tonight. So we'll click on save. Uh, and great, no errors. And we'll click on test. So I'll perform the trigger action, click test. That's triggered. I'll flick over to my calendar. And if I click this, uh, so this is an event that I've already got created, so I'm not adding a new one. So I'll click on edit and I'm going to change the start time on it till 10 a.m., something like that. And we'll click save. So it's called new event five, change time till 10 a.m. from like 7 a.m., where it was previously. Um, and this is the part where you need to wait. Now, one thing I did find about this connector is that this trigger specifically is a little slow to trigger. So um, when I've been doing some testing, I've kind of been thinking, is this working? Is it not working? Because um, it does take, um, on, my, uh, on my testing, up to a couple of minutes for this to start running. So what I'm going to do in the interest of this video is I'm going to uh, pause it right here and we'll come back to this uh, when this is triggered and when this is run. Welcome back. So uh, we can see that this did trigger in the end. Uh, we can see we do have this new start time here of the 10 a.m. finishing at 10.30, and this was the event that we updated. Um, it could have just been an issue with my connectors. We kind of saw that error was as I was going through uh, about the connection. And um, just an also, another note is that my screen never updated to say it was running. Um, it just always stayed on that same screen of triggering. So um, so just a couple of things to know about this one. It may or may not take a couple of minutes just for this to trigger and just for this to run. Uh, but let me know what your, what your experience is with using this trigger. Have you used it yet? Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've seen the same behavior I've seen. Could just be that Power Automate is having a bad day or like my environment's not doing too great today. Uh, but this is just a couple of things that I know. Other things seem to be working fine, so um, I just wanted to warn you guys just in case. So let me know in the comments down below what you use this for. Um, do you have those same issues? If you found this video useful, if you could like it and share it with people, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.